Hi and welcome to my latest video which is to demonstrate a financial reports app for Arbiton International. Uh, it's loading up now. This splash screen and all of the graphics that you see were all made by me. Usually the client uh, supplies the graphics but sometimes they don't and I want to be able to get into doing them myself so I decided to design this entire one myself and it looks quite nice. So uh, straight away we go into help. This literally just describes everything about the app, how to use it, etc., etc., to the user. And at the end has a link to technical support if anything goes wrong. Up on the left here we have L22 and D0. L22 stands for live. 22 reports are live on the server, which uh, is basically an FTP server with a one file um, detailing the reports that are available and then uh, the reports themselves are separate files so that 22 is read from the, the file that tells you what's available and D0 means we haven't downloaded any um, because we look at them and then we download them so this top bit is the live one browse reports and the bottom is the downloaded one and um, they're identical basically apart from one draws on the live stuff from the FTP server and the other one draws on things you've saved uh, to your internal storage of your device and the whole purpose of this app is to avoid people pirating these uh, financial reports because they're worth a fair bit and you're supposed to pay for uh, X amount for one of these reports but what's been happening is people have been buying them and then forwarding them onto their colleagues or whatever because their email they're delivered via email so the company wanted a way of these reports being only linked to one person so they could read them but not share them and I came up with this app which um, basically you can't copy and paste, you can't share, you can't email or forward anything you can only view it on the app and you can only view it if you can get past this verification stage which as you can see there you need to be verified uh, with Arbiton to get in there you pay them and they put you your email address on the list and then you can get in um, so and they send you the app as well or you can get it from Google Play so I'm going to pause it now while I enter my uh, my personal password and I'm now in and there's 22 reports here you can see I'm on one of 22 and you can smoothly scroll between them there's two of 22 three of 22 and you can go back and this is just with a, a finger drag so you can actually go between like that and uh, bookcase view is just a more pretty view of the list view which is a bit more succinct so it depends whatever you prefer but they're representing exactly the same data so uh, for example if I go into uh, December the 3rd report which was yesterday and I click on it there it now goes into the FTP server downloads the actual report which is a uh, report could not be downloaded okay some of them aren't uploaded uh, that's the administrator's job to keep all the reports online and that file that points to them should uh, should indicate the correct data but that's the administrator's job anyway this is today's report actually uh, to the uh, to 4th of December and as you can see it's just text it comes in as text from the FTP server and then I uh, put this text inside a web view and all of the paragraphs and everything they are all preserved from the text so that just works nicely and the reason for this is that we get the functionality of a web view you can zoom in like this and it'll it'll reformat to fit the screen and you can zoom in maybe you've got bad eyesight or something uh, you can carry on zooming as much as you want and you can also search uh, so if I go I'm looking for Apple um, it'll find the next instance of Apple which is down the bottom here and on the real device, for some reason, the, the words highlight with a yellow box on the real device, but on the emulator, they're not there. But imagine you're using this, and uh, <coughs> it makes it a lot easier, sorry about that, to get uh, around because you're looking at every instance of Apple is highlighted yellow, so you can, you can move down and see them. You don't have to have a look for them. And you can do next and previous, and then you can get rid of the search and you can download this by clicking here and that saves it in your downloaded reports so when you go out now 
it's turned yellow because we've got that one and on the bookcase view also it should be yellow because we already have it and you can see the indicators along the bottom here they indicate where we are in the list although there's more reports than I anticipated so there's a small fix there for me to do to um, fix it so it doesn't go off the edge like that but if you want to look at a report you click the eye there that's if the report that's if the report is actually online this service has been live for about six months and it seems to be working pretty good um, there it is again I can download that or I can search it if I want and there's a search option for the entire um, of all of the reports as general so if I can go if I want to look for Apple in all of these reports that are on the server it'll then go away and actually have to download each report um, from the server and then search it for the, the term Apple and whichever ones it finds are true have Apple in it then they all appear in this list and this takes a while because obviously it's downloading 22 pretty large reports and then searching them so I'm going to pause it until this search uh, comes back okay so the return uh, the search has returned and the yellow ones are the ones we already have and these are all reports which contain the word Apple you click on that one for example it doesn't actually need to download it now because the search has already downloaded it into the to the RAM memory so it's a lot quicker and then you can go okay where did they use Apple what did they say about Apple um, and then you can uh, move between them instances of Apple or previous and like I say in the uh, real version they've got a yellow box around them on my test devices and it looks really good I can download that report if I want so that is the functionality of the reports uh, browse reports and the yellow there because I've downloaded them etc and it actually when we go back to the main menu we can see that live uh, is 22 that's the amount on the server obviously D is 3 because we just downloaded 3 but when you go into download reports it's absolutely identical functionality to the live reports bootcase view and list view but it only has the ones we've downloaded and these are not yellow here because we're already we know we've downloaded them because we're in the downloaded section and the same again we view them everything's the same the search everything the panning the zoom but instead of a download button we have a delete button which allows us to delete that from the internal storage and once that's gone now we only have two reports and there they are and the same deal you can search these reports uh, for instances of something and that's quick because they're from the internal memory they both contain Apple and that is pretty much it if we go back to the main menu we'll see that that's 2 and that's 22 because I've just deleted one um, and if we delete all of the reports then it returns us to the main menu so I'll just demonstrate that it's gone so while there's still reports it brings you back here but then if you get rid of all of them so now we're down to zero it'll simply take you back to the main menu and that is the financial reports app which stops people being able to share reports etc uh, thanks for watching